Okay class, so today we're going to learn about the chip abacus method. I'm first going to show you about the addition. Okay, so I'm going to make up a problem and then we're going to solve it. All right, so the problem reads, Erin has four dogs and buys six more. How many total dogs does she have? So the chip abacus, you have uh, three different columns here. You have a hundreds column, a tens column, and a ones column. And then you're going to separate it into two rows because um, you have two different numbers that you want to add together. So the first row, you're going to put four dots in the ones column, and that'll be the number four. And the one below that, you have six dots in the next one for the other six dots. Now, in order to add these together, you're going to count all of these dots together. If they equal 10, you're going to put the next dot over into the tens column here. So let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, so there's 10 dots here in the ones column, which means that we can gather them all together. So we're going to make a box, put an arrow, and just put one dot over here in the tens. And we're gonna clean up the answer a little bit here. So we're gonna make another um, table. So like I said, we already added the 10 together. So we put the one dot here, which means that we have one. And now we no longer have any dots over in this area. So that makes it zero. So she has 10 dogs. Okay, good job. Now we're gonna try to make it a little bit harder for you. Alright, so the problem reads, Aaron has 55 blue buttons and 47 red buttons. How many total buttons does she have? So again, we're going to make the table with the hundreds column and the tens column and the ones and the row. And we're just going to make uh, the next table already as well. I'll save us some time later. Okay, so again, we have 55, so we put 5 here in the ones column and five here in the tens and that equals 55 and then we have seven here in the next one down and four here to make 47 so now again we want to count to see if we can make 10 dots all and group them all together for the next column so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so we have ten all right and we're going to draw another arrow put a dot here Okay, and then we're going to make another column, so we have to clean it up a little bit. Okay, so now that we added 10 there, we have 2 left over here. But now I think that we can add 10 more here, so we're going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, so we can gather those all up together, draw another arrow, and put one dot here. And then we're going to make one final table for the final answer. All right, so we have one dot here, over here, and then we have two dots in the ones column. So that means we have one, zero, and two. So the answer would then be 102 buttons. I don't know why I just wrote dogs. buttons. All right? And that's the addition method. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to do the chip abacus for subtraction. 
going to come up with the word problem and then we're going to go through how to do it with Chip Abacus. The question reads, Amber has seven bracelets. She broke four of them. How many does she have left? So we're going to do the same structure of the chart for the chip abacus, 100s column, 10s, and 1s. So the seven bracelets, we're going to do seven dots. We need to take out four to show the ones that are broken. So we're going to do one, two, three, and four. So now we're going to have to make a new column. And that one, two, three we have left. So the answer is three bracelets left. Okay, so now we're gonna make it a little harder. The question reads, Amber had 158 sprinkles on her ice cream cone, and then she ate 53 of them. How many sprinkles does she have left? So we're going to do the chip abacus chart again, hundreds column, tens, and ones. We're going to do for 158. So 100 and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, just some to show the 50, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, to show the 8. We need to take away 53 sprinkles, so we're going to do minus 5 and minus 3 in the places that they belong. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 1, 2, 3. So then we're going to rewrite it. So 100, there's nothing left in this one and one, two, three, four, five, to get 105 sprinkles left. And that's the chip advocates for subtraction.